Okay, welcome to today's IFA Academy COVID-19 grappling class. And we're gonna focus on drills today that you can do alone. And we're gonna combine them in an interesting way, make them interesting to do, more interesting. And um, as you spend more time at home and you're not able to get your usual workouts in, the main concern here is that we're losing sort of the sinewy strength around the joints and, the, and your uh, sort of limber, uh, capacity as well. So we, we want to um, just keep that range of motion going and get, you know, some good core work in their legs as well, but also you'll feel it in your core and your arms. All right. So the first one, I'm going to lay these out as several. I want you to do 30 seconds of each one. All right. And then you give yourself 30 seconds rest. You can move on to the second exercise and do a whole series, like a whole circuit, and then come back to the beginning. Or you can take the first combination of say two grappling exercises and do them um, repeatedly. You can you go back and do the same one, same one, and then move on to the next one. Do that three times, 30 seconds each. You know, you can choose. Some, some people are more motivated by, um, you know, just moving through the whole thing and then coming back and returning to the beginning. Other people get motivation from you know, like a feeling of accomplishment from just doing all the way through one exercise three times and then moving on. All right, so the first one is going to be four corner stepping and push-ups. So what we do is we get down here, butt off the mat, hands and feet, and then you're gonna bring your left leg through, put your right hand down. Your feet are, and hands are adhering to a corners of this uh, box, of this square. And then I come back through here, 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 and then reverse. One, two, three, four, then turn over, one, two, three, four, five, and then back again, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, five, so you're doing that for 30 seconds, and then rest 30 seconds and repeat. Okay, so now the next combination of exercises is going to be left, right, sit out to a burpee. You really hit those legs. And when you're doing the burpee, you get your arms just enough of a break before you go back. So it's going to be two each. So you're here, hands in front of you, sit out, sit out, one, two, sit out. Sit out, one, two, sit out, sit out, one, two, 30 seconds, go. Okay, this next one is interesting. It's going to be open guard coming forward up to kneeling post mount, uh, kneeling post base that is and then into a jump lunge twice. So this is a, it starts with a warm-up drill that we do very commonly in class here. You start with open guard, and then you're going to come forward, fold your leg under you, forward on your knee, get on your toes, you're gonna to jump, jump, back, switch, jump, jump, back, up, jump, jump, up, back, jump, and jump. All right, give you 30 seconds of that. Okay, this next one is gonna involve a medicine ball. You can use a basketball. Uh, you could use just something with some weight that's hopefully a little cushiony. What we're gonna do is we start on our backs like this. You're gonna hold the ball between your feet and you're gonna go out and back. Holding the ball just six inches off the mat or less. Then you're gonna come up and you're gonna do sit out Reverse scarf, 
modified scarf, north and south, other side, other side, return, and then back in your guard again. And then you repeat again. So you're gonna do, again, 30 seconds of leg extensions with the ball held between your feet. You're gonna come up forward, side control modified scarf, side control reverse scarf, north and south, repeat to the side, come back around, and then repeat again from guard. This really trains your legs in ways you're not used to, to grab hold of that ball. Sometimes with your guard, all you have is your toes grabbing onto something, their leg, and you, you want to develop the strength in your leg when it's extended because that's not a bad, it's not a very good place to be with the guard. So this develops that strength when the leg's extended. Inner thigh muscles, groin muscles that pull your legs together, as well as the ones, the abs and hip flexors that pull your knees to your chest. Do each of them three times, 30 seconds. Take 30 seconds rest. By the time you're getting up in there, about the middle of it, you should feel like you're starting to fade, starting to fail. And that's what you want. It should feel unsustainable. And then you get all the way through, come back in two days, do it again. The same workout. That's how you really get results. You don't get workouts by being entertained by new things all the time. You go back to the same useful exercises and do them long enough for it to change your body. All right, literally it changes your morphology, changes your strength when you keep coming back to it. Then, if you get so strong, it becomes easy or easier, you can always make the exercise harder. Add more weight, add more duration, add uh, stricter form. A lot of ways to do that. Different pace as well. Okay, let's get to work and we'll get through this.